I have a granddaughter that goes to a private school. Will the bond issue or the level issue, would that uh, stop her using the Dublin school buses? Or transportation. Um, well, first of all, I think there's a misconception that if my son or daughter is at a, a private you know, school or parochial school, that um, this really levy doesn't concern me. Um, one is in the service aspect, and, and yes, um, those students at privates and parochial will be affected no different than our kids in regards to transportation. So, you know, on this levy we have um, really at stake is high school busing. And if it's eliminated in Dublin schools, it'll be eliminated across the board. Also, you'll see more group and adjust, group stops and adjustments at middle school and elementary. So it will be very different across the board. Um, the other piece, if, if you're, you know, you don't have a, a, a student that's in the Dublin schools and you think, why should I pass this? Um, we found out in our survey, it was pretty clear that our community gets it. And they, 91% of the people surveyed said they understand the value of their property has to do with a strong school district. And uh, I think if you look at our district being, again, number one in Central Ohio, one of the tops in Ohio, uh, period, um, that value of property stays right along with, with uh, the worth of our district. We've got businesses that continually, when they're hiring, they, wanna, they want literature from the school, they want to bring their employees who they're interviewing uh, by so they can look at the schools and, and look at our data to see what we're doing. Uh, but again, to get back to your, your initial and original question, um, we would, um, and by law, we would um, and have to treat the busing like from public to the, the privates and parochials. Uh, so high school busing across the board would be eliminated and you'd see adjustments at middle school and elementary.